Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to come on here and share with you some exciting finds that I just thrifted um, after work. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to share with you some goodies. Um, first off, I also want to say that I'm so late to this paper ring um, or just any thermal printer. Um, I just, uh, I ordered this with my own money, guys. It's not sponsored in any way. Um, I wanted to try for so long and I finally bit the bullet and I ordered this on AliExpress uh, and it is so cool. I love, um, I love using it because it's so thin and it prints so fast and efficiently and it's just such a, it's a more uh, economical way uh, instead of using my Canon IV all the time. Uh, for example, like if I don't need something to be in color and I just want to like demonstrate it in my journal entry, then I will use this paper ring printer and um, I just love the look of it too. It's so cute. Um, and yeah, um, I want to show you just a spread so you can kind of like see how I'm using it. Um, better yet, let me show you my i have a like a nature sketch or entry here in my sketchbook um for example here so uh i did print out one using my canon ivy but the rest of it i didn't need to and i just wanted to document it and it's just perfect for it um i just love how it just comes out more graphical has that look to it um, there's a frog and these pictures are not taken by me these t pictures are taken by my partner he is studying photography and we just love going to the park um, and bird watching and it's so cute anyways um, yeah so that's how I've been using it and also my journal entries but when I do like a flip through my you know journals I will be sharing with you that too so um, yeah so do you guys you know have you guys been using uh thermal printers like is it really still popular i know it was really popular when it first came out maybe like a few years ago but i was just scared of how long it fades some people said it, it's been like a year or two and it hasn't faded or five years so i am really curious to know uh when this will fade or start fading because it's basically like a receipt right um i think that's the same technology so i'm just hoping that it will be at least a few years but please let me know down below if you know the answer to this or if you know uh, for this specific brand but I love it so much anyways I, I will probably be getting more paper because I didn't buy any extra paper and it just came with the roll um, yeah so to the point of this video so I stopped by uh, my local thrift shop and I found this really cute vintage um, business card holder binder and it's in great condition uh, as you can see I got it for like five uh, Kenyan dollars and I can't really tell the brand but it looks like Oryx Prestige um, but it was I think it's from the 80s or yeah I th think it's from the 80s um, because somebody uh, recently seems like or you know seems to appear have donated several of these similar branded uh, like personal binders um, and I just chose this one but there was like two others that's you know kind of reminds me of the file facts but I didn't get it and then inside there's like a business card order, or ID slot on the left oops that's my plant um, and then uh, there's like this slot here um, for cards and then look at all of these sleeves isn't that amazing they are frosted so I'm kind of worried but I'm planning to use this as um, a ink swatch binder and the reason I think it's gonna be good is because it's a binder and I can easily just match colors or reorganize it however I want and because it's a binder then I have easy access to reor reorganization so it's very functional for that and then there's more 
so that's a lot. And then at the back, there's this, um, these yellow dividers, and it's not in order, but it's, I think it's all here, like A to Z. Um, and it's like two letters at the same time, like in one tab, which is interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, yeah, I've never seen it before, but they're mostly in really good condition. So I might just relabel that for colors or maybe like, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking of like, it could, I could use it to uh, categorize the inks by brand, I guess, but I'm not sure. I, I think I would definitely do by color, but maybe by brand is better um, for ink, I guess, cataloging uh, all the inks in my collection. I mean, this is not my first attempt at cataloging my inks. I failed the first time. I didn't like the way it turned out. Um, so I'm really, really trying to do it again in here. And I feel like it's going to be good because then I, because I have a lot of swatch cards. So right now I just, I'm cataloging my, uh, my inks in this uh, ink swatches notebook from um, Traveler's Company in this, one of my most beloved um, Kirishiki covers, custom covers. Uh, and um, so it's like this so once you put it in you can't you it's hard to uh, reorganize it right so um, so what I'm thinking of doing with this one is so much it's gonna be so much easier let's try to see this one this is one of my favorite things this is the Fairs Wheel Press Workshop Wishes. Um, I would prefer if they were all clear because then you can see it. See how clear it is? So I'm worried about the frosted one. Oh no, I think it's fine. It's not that bad, guys. And it's more smoother. The, this one's like wrinkly and stuff, but yeah, that's. I think this is totally doable. And there's no glare so i yes i like this oh my gosh i can't wait to like do so much like swatches and now i can like really put the ones that are similar together like my brownish beige inks oh this is so exciting that is so exciting look at that Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. I love like vintage um, stuff, you guys know. I um, constantly share, um, less so in the last few months, but uh, I share a lot of like thrifting, uh, thrift finds on my Instagram channel. So if you haven't followed me yet, go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you don't want to miss any of my gems that I pick up. And I'm telling you, I enjoy it so much. It's such a great uh, stress reliever. And I just love not knowing what you're going to find. And a lot of times I don't find anything. But like today I got lucky and this is so cute. Oh, I love it. So, um, so yeah, I will, you will probably be seeing this in my future ink review or swatch videos. I swear I need to do those again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to get right on that. Oh, I love this. And it says business cards. I should just put, no, I'm just going to leave it like that in its original form. I'm not going to label it. I don't know. Should I? I feel like I'm just going to leave it just so simple like that. And then the other thing I found was this beautiful, again, from I think the eighties. Um, and it's this China's Rare Flowers. And it's painted by this artist. And this, yes, this is an 80s edition as well. And the drawings, paintings are, I think these are ink drawings. So it's like a sort of like a brush ink, if that makes sense, like a thicker paste. Um, it's just so, so lovely. Look at that. 
it's so it just has that really um vintage style to it all these botanicals and um i i uh <laughs> started a vintage floral botanical um book collection like two years ago and i've been slowly adding to it so anytime i see like interesting like vintage botanical books with like good illustration i just i am such a sucker for it and i just have to go get it um but look at that i just love it it's it's so beautiful and it has like a little blurb on the left um it's just so pretty and i just love the loose feel um it's very expressive and you can tell like the the ink how just how it moves on the page and how thick it is i just love the look i love it look how beautiful that is um but yeah so these are the two items that i picked up today and i i just love it and so excited um so yeah that is going into my uh collection it's really in good condition too um but yeah i just love both of these thank you so much for joining me guys in this video and i will catch you in the next one